this summer, we really were in my practice quite inundated with a high number of new aggressive skin cancer. So I was seeking options um, for my patients other than having to refer all of them out for surgery. And in my research and reading, I again came across information on um, superficial radiation therapy with some of the locations that these tumors occur, such as the nose, the ear, lip, even though most surgery is an excellent choice for treating skin cancer, patients are left with scars in place of cancer. And one thing that I feel is such a positive thing about IGSRT is that we're basically clearing malignant cells and we're repopulating the area with healthy skin. Since um, SRT has such a great cure rate, uh, it really makes a lot of sense uh, for my patients to have this option. They avoid the surgical scars. Many patients have comorbidities that have non-melanoma skin cancers, things like diabetes or they're on, uh, they're on blood thinner and uh, this makes their risk much less. Also, especially for patients who have had multiple Mohs micrographic surgery treatments, they're thrilled to have an option where they don't have to be cut upon again. We have been trained to think that X-ray therapy is palliative, not curative, and this is not electron beam radiation therapy that we are accustomed to. This is a completely curative mod modality that competes in terms of effectiveness with most surgery. When patients are concerned about re receiving radiotherapy, I simply explain to them that this modality is different than standard radiation with a linear particle accelerator. So I explained to them that the, the, the radiation does not penetrate uh, very deep into their skin at all. All the treatment stays very superficial and close to the skin. I think the ultrasound guided technology also is very satisfying for the patients. When they can see their, sh their tumors shrinking on the ultrasound, I think that that really gives them a lot of motivation and they can see that the treatment's working. We have so many different tools to use. Um, SRT has been the most beneficial for our practice in many ways. It has grown our business, but it has been probably the easiest thing for us to bring on and train on and learn. Since partnering with Skincare Oncology, it, it has been just a seamless process. They accept all the financial risk and that leads us to really focus on what we do best as dermatologists, and that is take care of our patients. Skin Cure actually sent in the builders to build out the room. Then the um, physicists that came to my practice to calibrate the device, and really quickly we were able to find a highly qualified radiation therapist to work with me as well. Dr. Rainey and I really want our patients to feel comfortable in our practice and our radiation therapist, Josh, has really become a part of the family, and he's really an extension of our bedside manner. Support services are tremendous. There are people we can call, there are doctors we can talk to. Our radiation techs have access to grand rounds on a weekly basis. They can discuss difficult cases. Uh, it's, it's just a much better situation for us and for the patients. It has actually helped our practice because once people in the community find out that you offer this service, those patients are referred to us. And sometimes they stay in the practice. For other dermatologists, they're looking at bringing IGSRT into their practice. Honestly, I would tell them to take the leap. It's been one of the better decisions I've made. It's allowed me to handle the volume of skin cancers that comes in. Um, I'm able to treat patients. Um, in the office without technically taking up my surgical or clinical time, and patients are getting an excellent cosmetic outcome. The patients really like the fact that there's continuity of care. They're not having to be referred out to another physician that they don't have a previous relationship with. And from a business perspective, again, the reimbursement on these treatments is excellent. It's covered by all major medical insurance companies and Medicare. And I do think that looking forward in the future, um, this is going to become and should become the norm 